Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line and I'm here this week to do a book review via video and we have got No Patterns Needed by Rosie Martin. So, the clue is in the name here with the book. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it, show you some pictures, see what it's all about. Um, the premise of the book obviously is No Patterns Needed. It, um, it focuses on three shapes, so the square, the circle and the triangle and all the patterns in the book are based on these shapes. So I'm going to show you some of the bits that I really like. So the beginning of the book starts with um, an introduction, why Rosie's kind of chosen these three shapes, but I really like the way that you can see all of the um, projects from the book here. Um, once you've read that, got inspired, ready to go, um, there's this lovely little section here with all the tools that you'll need. Um, I think the bit I really like about this is that I'm pretty sure this is Rosie's sewing machine and her iron <laughs> and her and ironing board. So it's nice because it feels really real. Like you know, these are these are her bits of equipment that she uses every day, and I think that's something about the book that is a really positive thing. It feels really real. Um, She's also, um, let me just get to the right page, you can see from here, this is an overview of some of the first section of the book. Um, these are, this is all the square projects that you can do, but I really like the way that she's used, you know, she's used real people in here, they're not, they're not models. Um, I did hear at her book launch that she sort of stopped a couple of people in the street to try and get them to kind of come and be models for her book, so... Um, right, so I'm going to show you, start with, let me find the right page, I did actually have these all um, all ready to go but I have massively failed on this, bear with me, yes, right, so I'm going to start with my favourite, favourite project from the book, it's the cake sleeve top, um, I really like the layout of these beginning pages, um, you get the model shot and then here, I'm going to bring it in so you can see. Um, really nice layout of the page, um, you get a nice line drawing, how the sort of um, pattern pieces are going to look and also this bit here is my favourite bit, so it's your little maths bit, so you, it's got blank spaces that you can fill in with your um, with your measurements and then you've got them there for when you next come back and want to make it again. So once you put your project, um, they're really nice illustrations and photographs which I am a big fan of because I find photographs much easier to follow and I like the way that it kind of interchanges between the two which is really useful. Um, what else is there in here that I really like? Um, um, let me find you my favourite, another favourite, this one. The deep v-neck tunic, um, I don't know if you can see this little um, wrap over, crossover detail here Lovely little cap sleeves, I think that's a really nice feature and again you've got your layout ready to kind of put in all your measurements, you know, pick which fabric you're going to need, that sort of thing. Um, one thing I really like about each project in the book is that you get a double page spread with two variations of each project and I think it's really nice to see it in different fabrics and, you know, it you know, every dress looks completely different depending on the fabric that you use. So I really like the way that she's done this. I also like the way that she has got the skinny minis in there with the curvy girls as well. So you can see how the pattern looks in a bigger size. Um, I think that makes it really appealing to everyone. And I like that, you know, there's nothing worse than opening a book and looking at it and thinking all these really skinny models in there wearing wearing the garment that's going to look awful on me so I feel like that's a really nice part of the book and I feel like that's something that's obviously been quite important to her because it's quite consistent throughout it. Um, in terms of like sort of nerdy design details that I really really love, um, the square on the front, the circle and the triangle, the square is in pink so all the projects that are square have pink illustrations and I think that's really nice. And then when you get onto the blue section, um, which is the circle, they're all blue, which I think is really cool. And it makes the book quite consistent, so you sort of know where you are by the colour of the of the illustrations. 
Oh, I have to show you this because I don't know if anyone saw our um, last video blog last week when we were talking about all the new patterns and I was saying that the ruffle off the shoulder thing was really popular. Look, there's one in here. So you can just buy the book and you don't need to buy the pattern. You get 15 books for the, well, 15 projects for the price of one pattern. So just to round up, um, you can buy this book from Lawrence King who are the publishers and it's £17. There are 15 projects in the book, five of each section, so you've got five of the square, five of the circle and five of the triangle and I'm pretty sure, which is awful to say, you can probably buy it on Amazon and it'll be a bit cheaper. But if you think £17, that's only just over a pound a project, so it's well worth going out and treating yourself to. Right, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, we will be doing these most weeks now, so make sure you um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I think that's what you have to do, subscribe. Anyway, I think it then pops up some magically. Um, also, just going to show you what I am wearing today because, well, it's homemade, so I might as well. Um, it is, I've actually had to put it here because I can't remember the numbers of any Vogue or McCall's patterns. So it's a V8974 and it's part of the BV Solong. And it's absolutely beautiful in London today. So I thought, why not pop on a summer dress? Just going to do a little twizzle for you so you can see at the back it's got a nice crossover detail. Um, and I have made it in a linen, which is perfect for this weather. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely weekend and we will see you again soon.